Hi everybody, Zach here checking back in and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. Hopefully you get some value out of this video and if you do, like and subscribe. That's the best way to give back to the community. So in this video, we're going to go over three different things as it relates to Shiba Inu. Of course, a lot of things in the works. We're going to talk about staking. Shiba Analyst put out a new video about the rewards of staking. I'm going to break that down for you, but you're going to have to go after this video and watch the full video over on Shiba Analyst's channel. And he, gives a, he does a great job of uh, breaking things down, so you're definitely going to want to go check that out after you see um, just a sneak peek of what I'm going to show you here in this video. We're going to talk about Shiba Swap, what we expect, when it's coming, could it be coming this weekend, maybe early next week. And then we're going to talk about how Shiba Inu is the top trending coin right now. And there's a lot of big names up there too, so you're going to want to stick around for that in this video. And then finally, we're going to close things out in this video going over some Google Trends, but I'm going to do it slightly different in this one. I'm going to put it up against some of the trending community tokens, so you're going to want to stick around and check that out as well. So, all right, let's before we get into that, let's, uh, let's see the overall market where we're at. It's a $1.37 trillion market cap right now. Uh, market pretty flat as a whole. Bitcoin slightly up as well as Ethereum. Cardano actually up 4% right now. And if we scroll down here, a lot of things slightly green, slightly red. Kind of a boring day in the market when it in terms of this, but usually that's pretty good. Boring days in the market are okay. It's uh, it's when those it's when those really red days, unless you're you know buying the dips, that's when it could be kind of frustrating. But uh, Shiba Inu is sitting at that eight two eight three level right now, and we'll take a look at Leash. Um, it's at thirty two hundred. It's actually up about five percent here uh, right now at the time of this recording. So, like I said, we're going to jump into staking, and then we're going to talk about Shiba Swap and how Shiba Inu is trending right now. So hopefully you get some value out of this update. So this is the most recent upload from Shiba Analyst. I've already watched it. I've already liked the video. Very interesting. He goes in detail about how staking is going to be a nice uh, reward for those who choose to do so. So he talks about if you choose to stake your SHIB weekly uh, on Shiba Swap when it comes out, and I haven't moved my money over to MetaMask yet, but I may move some over there once I see how this whole thing's going to work. And I've said that, and I've been very open about that in other videos. So staking SHIB weekly uh, and restaking SHIB each and every week, it's going to help recreate the supply, okay, or recirculate the supply. Every week, if you keep restaking your SHIB, this is going to actually be more beneficial to SHIB, to the overall ecosystem, than burning your tokens. So you're going to want to go check out this full video. If you want to check out the really important piece, scroll to about 10 minutes in and watch it from 10 minutes to about 14 minutes where he breaks down the really important aspect of staking. So two things staking your SHIB is really going to do as it relates to this overall circulating supply and overall supply. Because I know there's been a lot of questions about burning. Well, you know, why can't we just burn tokens? Why can't the dev team do this? Well, it wasn't designed like that. It wasn't set up like that. This is a community token. So the community has to speak. And in order for this thing to kind of take place, more and more people are going to have to stake their SHIB. And of course, a lot of people already in line to do so. So by staking your SHIB weekly, when Shiba Swap comes out, it's going to increase your weekly payouts. Okay. Now, if you get those payouts and immediately stake more SHIB, you're going to get paid out in SHIB by staking. And those payments will continue to increase over time. If you continue to stake, you're essentially taking tokens out of the circulating supply. So it's actually similar to burning, but it's actually more beneficial to the entire ecosystem. So I wanted to give you a little sneak peek of this video, and that's really the main takeaways. That's the thesis that I at least pulled out of this video, but go check it out for yourself. Here it is right here, Shiba Inu answering community questions on ShibaSwamp, Ask Me Anything, and it's over on Shib Analyst's page. He does a fantastic job. Of course, this is Steve, Rocket Crypto. Thought it was interesting too. A little tidbit here. How mind blowing would it be if Steve is actually Ryoshi this whole time explaining stuff to us in the proper way? I thought that was an interesting comment. I'm going to like it too. Um, Antonio, shout out to you, man. That's an interesting question. Maybe it is. Maybe it could be. Uh, but overall, this is pretty cool. Cause so uh, go check out this video and uh, see for yourself what staking is going to do for you if you choose to do so. All right. So and now we got to talk about Shiba Swap. So. Uh, before we get into it, or before we get into these top trending coins, ShibaSwap is projected to get out this weekend or early next week. At least that's what we think. Uh, Shitoshi has been tweeting, and he's been saying things like, the weekend is, uh, you know, we're always looking forward to the weekend, right? 
giving these subtle hints that something could be coming this weekend. There could be some fireworks potentially on the 4th of July here in the USA, um, and that is July 4th. And, uh, of course, tomorrow's the 3rd. Maybe we get it tomorrow. We'll have to wait and see, and uh, who knows. But here's what we do know. It'll come out soon. It'll be a big catalyst, and then I hopefully think, what I think will happen hopefully is Coinbase Pro will soon come in after creating another positive catalyst for SHIB here in the short term and in the long term. Of course, going from Coinbase Pro is the first step, and then we'd like to get to Coinbase to where it really reaches the masses because so many more people, the retail investors, they trade on Coinbase, not so much Coinbase Pro, which is for the professionals, if you will. All right, so that's the quick update on ShibaSwap. We don't know we don't know exact uh, a date, you know, but we know it's imminent. We know it's close. Now, this news right here. So this is spanning across the week from June 26th to July 2nd. You can see the top 30 trending coins on this infographic. Really interesting, too. Shiba Inu is up there with some big names. Polygon is up there. You can see in the top 10. Dogecoin is actually number 10. Feg Token, which I'm going to talk about Feg Token later in the video. Uh, you're going to want to check out that. SafeMoon as well will be in the uh, later portion of the video. Phantom's in there at number 6. Um, Bitcoin at number 11, Solana 16, some big names here, Kusama at 16, Cartesi, that's one we've heard a lot of recently, that's at number 21, Terra, Terra Luna, uh, number 24, Ave, number 27, VeChain, and Chainlink, two, uh, two that I hold right there, number 29 and number 30, so uh, this is pretty cool to see, um, SHIB is sitting at number one spot this week, and uh, Shaitoshi actually retweeted this out, which I thought this was pretty cool, I wanted to share this with you all and uh, get your thoughts on this. So let me know down in the comments what you think about, well, one of two things, staking. What are your thoughts on that? Are you planning on staking your SHIB? Are you planning on staking some, all of it, maybe waiting it out a little bit? Uh, do you have any projections about ShibaSwap? So I guess I have three things you can comment to. And then let me know what you think about this infographic here on the top trending. All right, so we've got some really cool stuff still in this video. So this article, I didn't mention this at the top, but I wanted to insert this in here here. So I don't know if you guys saw this. This was a tweet come out by SHIB Token yesterday, and uh, it was this really long article. Perry, actually, somebody in our Discord, he actually tipped me off to this, and I read it last night. It was really interesting. I don't know what to really make of it, but I encourage you to go read it, because I think, nonetheless, it's pretty interesting. It was written 23 hours ago here by Jay, and um, it says, I am Shiba. My journey through the deepest recess and high command uh, of a $20 billion decentralized army. All right, so it goes through, and it's really fascinating. It talks about the story of Shiba Inu, and it goes, it's a really long article, so make sure you have some time to uh, read through this, but uh, it's really fascinating. They talk about all the ups and the downs and what people have said. They talk about the wolf, wolf paper, the plans for Shiba Swamp, and then they talk about the journey, and there's actually some interviews in here with some really big household names. Now, it is kind of tough to get out um, who the author is. Are they actually sitting down with these people? Again, it's just words, similar to you know, what we were talking about with the AMA. I think it's accurate, but we don't know for sure. And I want to leave that little room for doubt because I think that's only fair, right? So this would have been better if it were in a podcast version, or of course, even better if it were in a video version. But nonetheless, I read it. I found it interesting. And it does open your eyes to... Uh, definitely some things about Ryoshi, talks about him and his kind of story, what his thoughts were. Of course, all of the dev team essentially wants to remain anonymous. We've kind of learned that throughout the process. There's a classic um, meme there that we've, we've come to know and see. And uh, like I said, really long article here, but really packed with a lot of interesting insights here. And uh, make sure you go and check this out. Again, Shib Token tweeted this out over on July 1st. I am Shiba. You could find it over on that Twitter page by Ship Token, the official Ship Token Twitter page. Which let's take a look at this. It's up over 700,000 followers. Of course, Safe Moon was closing in on 1 million. Ship is quickly catching uh, Safe Moon in that in that uh, metric at least. Okay, so yeah, this article also talks about the Certic audit. Go check it out. I think it's uh, pretty interesting. I think you'll find some value in it. All right. So last thing I want to hit on, and this is really going to be cool because we do this Google Trend stuff all the time, but I wanted to take the past seven days, take a worldwide look of some of the things that have been trending as of late. Getting a lot of questions recently about Kishu Inu. Also, getting a lot of questions recently about Feg Token. So I included both of these 
in here on the Google Trends. Again, only past seven days, but it'll give us a nice snapshot of the past week. We've got Safe Moon in there and Baby Doge, which of course came to rain here, came to power, uh, at least for a short amount of time. Still doing pretty well on the charts, but and we've got Shiba Inu in here. So Shiba Inu is that blue line. You can see, by and, by and at large, the top asset here. Now, we have seen a trend downwards after the AMA, a slight trendward downwards, okay, here. A little less search. Baby Doge, of course, was very quiet. It was down here. It was actually higher than Fake Token, though, for a while, and higher than Kishu here. You could see, even way back in here before the pop, Baby Doge was still higher than Kishu and Fake. But then you get here, and it had its, you know, meteoric rise. It was actually well um, higher than any other asset here at this point on July 1st yesterday. Of course, that was the day that Elon tweeted out early in the morning. But since then, has since dropped back down. See, you can see here July 2nd, 3 p.m., right around the time of this recording. And you can see Shiba Inu has, again, surpassed Baby Doge. So it had a quick reign of power, I guess you could say, at least in the seven-day Google Trends. But quickly, it has kind of fallen off here, at least fallen off a little bit, where enough where Shiba Inu has taken back over that top spot. Safe Moon clearly in there at number two when you look at this holistically. And, uh, of course, it's been pretty consistent on the charts and on the Google Trends. But here's what I really want to focus on. A lot of people say Kishu Inu and Fag Token. These are the ones. These are the ones. This is why I haven't invested in either one of these yet. I'm not saying they're bad projects. I'm not saying I won't invest in them one day. But they're just not getting a lot of interest. And we could pull this down. We could see, take a look around the entire world here. You know, you could see here, Baby Doge got a really big pop here in the last um, last week or so in a couple countries. But by and at large, you take a look at all these assets, there's a lot of Shiba Inu here, right? Shiba Inu in the state, 65%. Canada, 63%. 71% in Australia. 72% in Indonesia. It's not really close. Look at India, 79%. It continues to grow in interest in these very populated country, countries like Indonesia and Indonesia. Australia, the United States, 100 right here in the last week or so. And we take a look at Baby Doge. It grew in interest over the past week, really that big day that it had, right? But uh, you could see a couple different countries here where it had a nice pop. Safe Moon has been pretty consistent here, but uh, still just not gaining enough traction, not gaining enough interest for me to get really involved in it. And I know they've got some good things, projects going. And Listen, I, I don't, I'm not going to say I won't invest in it, but right now I'm pretty comfortable with Shiba Inu and Doge as my two community coins, coins that I want to be invested in. Kishu Inu here too, you can see very mild interest just about everywhere. Um, Burkina Faso has quite a bit there. But uh, same thing can be said for Fag Token. Okay, just kind of, you know, middling interest here all over, slowly starting to gain some traction, but still just not at the levels of Shiba Inu yet. All right, so let me know what you think of these... Um, Google Trends down below, too. I'd like to get your thoughts. And then, of course, before we get out of here, I want to plug the Patreon uh, and the supporter level. $20 level is the insider level. And uh, you can see here what they include. Includes Discord benefits, chat community, general support from me. Uh, you're going to get all of that with the $20 per month, too. But you're also going to get buy and sell trade alerts, insider content only, where I message just the insiders. And then we're going to put together a portfolio where we'll all have access to that. I'm going to put to that uh, put that in the spreadsheet so we can see when we're buying and selling and what we're doing over there. So that would be um, something that, it, if it interests you, um, you could hop over and check out that link in the description. Let me know if you have any thoughts about that down below. And uh, real quick before we get out of here, just as a side note, as something I always like to mention here before getting out, you know, watch the market very closely right now. And if you're looking to add positions, I know psychologically you want to add when things are on the up and up, right? It's kind of a game we'd have to play with ourselves, but really we should be buying when things are red. So, you know, everybody has different positions in terms of Shiba Inu when they want to buy dips. This question came up quite a bit on the live stream today. You know, there's some key levels of support down there. So here's some levels to watch. The 5.5 level, we haven't dipped below there in a long time. So if we get down close to that, that might be a good opportunity. What I would like to do, if it gets down lower, you know, or a little higher than that, not as low as the 5.5 level, say the 6.5 or 7 level, maybe that's a good time to, what I like to say is nibble at it, right? Buy a little bit. Don't buy a lot because if it does continue to fall, it'll probably, you know, fall to that 5.5 level. You'll still have a lot of money left over where you could buy more. So that's just something to consider uh, in terms of your buying strategies. Also, um, be on the lookout for tomorrow. I've got a couple nice videos coming out. A little different approach can't wait to see what you think about them. 
how to spend $500 uh, right now, five different strategies, how to do that on crypto, and uh, as well as my top 15 cryptocurrencies to buy right now. Those two videos will be out tomorrow, one in the morning, one in the early afternoon. And for everybody in the USA, I know I've got a global audience here. There's people from all over, which has really been super cool. Uh, it's taken me by surprise, that's for sure. But uh, I know a lot of people in the States. Uh, hopefully you have a great weekend with family and friends. And uh, I will see you in the next video.